Today, we have three absolutely mind-blowing ways you can use AI for video editing. I'm still having trouble processing this first one in my brain. It's nuts. You can turn anything into a 3D object and then animate it. So I'm simply going to ask ChatGPT to take this image I found and turn it into a 3D video game character standing in a T-pose. Next, we're going to come to the website tripo3d.ai and we're going to select single image, drag our image in, and press generate. When you sign up, you'll get 600 free credits. Now, as you can see, it's taken our image and turned it into a full 3D model. We can make ourselves walk by pressing this walk button. We can make ourselves run by pressing the run button, or we can give ourselves a seizure by pressing jump. We can simply select the format as USD and press download. Inside Resolve, here's the node setup to bring it into a 3D environment. You can literally do this with any object you can imagine. With this next one, you can get real creative. Let's say your video is about an investigation, and in this particular scene, there's a man who's mistreated 10 dogs and cats. Let's get more specific. These 10 dogs and cats. Now, I'm going to feed this image into ChatGPT and ask her to generate us a dark 16 by 9 image of a pet investigation. I want you to take the 10 dogs and cats in the photo above and add grunge to it. I want you to make them 10 individual images and connect them with a red strip. Now, let's see what this would look like in an animation. The man would purchase these animals and not feed them for weeks. Next, we're going to use AI to create the 16-bit moving background and these 16-bit characters. I give credit to this guy for coming up with this one. First, ask ChatGPT to generate your characters. Ask for three men in different colored hoodies in a transparent background. Then you're going to want to type in this long prompt to get an image with three different layers like this. Then we're going to come to this website. You can find the link in the description. Upload your image and simply click to divide each layer. Once you hit generate, it creates this moving background that you can adjust with these settings. That's all you guys get today. We'll see you in the next one.